Growing up a victim of bullying can be traumatic for any child, especially if it's brought on by physical attributes that can't be changed. One nonprofit organization is trying to change that, offering free plastic surgery to some of these victims. CNN chief medical correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta spent time with one patient and was there for her transformation. It's a parent's nightmare. I used to be very uh, talkative when I was a little kid, and now I'm just shy, and I'd rather not talk to anyone. I'm antisocial now. Children viciously bullied for their physical appearance. For 14-year-old Nadia Isle, the bullying started in first grade. There was this uh, girl, she came up to me and says, you have the biggest ears I've ever seen. And I'm like, well, uh, yeah. it just, I was speechless because I didn't think about it until she said that. She's heard Dumbo, elephant ears, and much, much worse. Seven years of torment, so withdrawn, still so hard to talk about. What is the, do you remember the worst sort of taunting or, or teasing or, you know, whatever? Do you remember a day where that happened? It happened a lot. Well, it happened so many times that it kind of all blends together that I kind of don't remember. Nadia was just 10 years old when she asked her mom if she could have surgery to pin her ears back, also known as an otoplasty. She wanted them to stick out less, all in an effort to stop the bullying. It's been sort of a dark place for you for some time, it sounds like. Yeah, it's been very depressing. Her mom, desperate to help, turned to the internet and stumbled across the Little Baby Face Foundation. The nonprofit organization offers free plastic surgery for children, like Nadia, who are bullied because of their physical appearance and can't afford an operation. There may be people, Nadia, who say, look, you know, you, you, don't, you don't need to do this. This is, this is just who you are. It's the way you were born. You know, people should love people for who they are. What do you say to those folks? I say that they're right, but it'll never stop. It'll just keep going, get worse and worse. The foundation flew Nadia and her mother from Georgia to New York City for an all-expense-paid trip to this hospital. This will be our target ear. So then I'll match it up, to, I'll match the other ear, which is not as lateralized as this ear. So, In her application, Nadia had asked to have her ears pinned back. But Dr. Thomas Romo with the Little Baby Face Foundation recommended she change more than just her ears. I love thin chins, but I don't want them as pointy as that chin. We talked about that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And we looked at some pictures of some different people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and their chins come off just a little more square. So that's exactly what we're going to do, too. And there was more. When I looked up inside her, the whole septum is actually going off this way. As the septum goes, so goes the nose. She never talked about the nose or the chin before, right? This she did not, because she didn't recognize it. Dr. Romo says with her ears pinned back, her nose and asymmetrical chin would be more pronounced. He said all three surgeries combined are necessary to balance out Nadia's features. So any last thoughts as we're going into the OR here? Nervous, excited. So in some ways this has been seven years in the making for, for Nadia. She, she just went under, but uh, she tells me she's been dreaming about this day for, for some time, and now it's all happening for her. So what Dr. Romo is doing is an otoplasty, uh, a reduction rhinoplasty, reducing the size of the nose, and a mentoplasty here on the chin. I think what might surprise a lot of people is about 42% of otoplasties on the ears are done in people under the age of 18. This four-hour operation would normally come with a price tag of about $40,000. For Nadia, it's free. Here in the operating room, when you see what's happening here behind me, it gives you a good idea of just how significant bullying can be. Kids become depressed, they can become anxious. In Nadia's case, she told me it changed her entire personality. But surgery alone won't wipe away the pain from years of all that bullying. Nadia's mom hopes counseling will be the final step in the healing process. 72 hours post-op, Nadia is still swollen but cautiously optimistic as Dr. Romo removes the bandages and she sees her new self for the first time. I look beautiful. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. A 
love it. <laughs> Sanjay Gupta is joining us now. Sanjay, I'm not really even sure how to react to this because she's clearly so happy with how she looks, and that's great. I think people watching this will look at it and say, wait a second, wait a second, that's, that's pretty aggressive. Now, this man is doing this for free, so we can't, you know, suggest that there is anything other than altruistic motive here. But, boy, that seemed like a lot for a little girl um, that just wanted her ears fixed. Yeah, you know, and, and it's it's a wildly controversial uh, topic, as you might guess, Candy. I've had a lot of conversations about this. We talked to several child psychologists uh, while investigating this piece, and I will tell you, none of the child psychologists uh, said, I absolutely would not do this. The answer always seemed to be, well, there are certain situations where, you know, something like this may be warranted. Look look there, Candy, uh, the before and after. The, you know, yeah. you saw her in the piece uh, about 72 hours after her operation. This is just a couple of days ago now. Uh, a significant change. I asked her the same question, Candy. I asked her, you know, any regrets that seemed like a lot to go through. Uh, she said, absolutely not. And I will tell you, just from a, you know, from a dad standpoint, when I first met her, she was, you know, very withdrawn, quiet. You could see a little bit how hard it was to, to talk to her. And she was very outgoing. Now, her personality changed just as she predicted that it would. So that's, that's you know, her, her particular story. Yeah, thanks, Sanjay Gupta. What a, what a great story. You all be sure to tune in for Sanjay's special, Taking It to Extremes, Surgery for Bullied Kids. It airs tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 Eastern and again Sunday morning at 7.30 Eastern right here on CNN.